Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Longo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Longo, and we post reaction videos here every day. So if there's something that you guys want to strike to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it. This video is going to be in two parts. A big shout out to our subscribers and a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Today we're reacting to where does it say that where does it say that in the Bible, Shamsi and Christian preacher. So without wasting time, like I said, this is going to be in two parts. Without wasting time, let's get into the video. Yes, so so yeah. Is it, so what is the question? Um you want to ask another question? Sorry, as I understand it, the message that you said of you yeah. know, Jesus, um, Muhammad, and if you go further back to Jacob, and yeah, Joseph, Isaiah, is, is the message acknowledge Allah as the one and true God? That's correct. Acknowledge Muhammad as the final messenger? No, 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 no. At the, at the time, Prophet Muhammad. Before Prophet Muhammad, okay. there was no Muhammad. Of course, of course. So of you, course. Will, you have to acknowledge Jesus mm. before Jesus, Moses. No, yeah. No, no, so yeah, right yeah, yeah. now, yeah, I would have to acknowledge. All the prophets have come before. Yes. And acknowledge Allah as the one true God. Yeah. And that's how I get salvation. Uh, Prophet Muhammad. Because why? When you look to Jesus, Jesus, Moses, Abraham, they never spoke English. Yep. They never called God God. I mean, oh, Aramaya no. is Elo, which is Arabic Elah. Exactly, you see? Yes. So Elohim. Mm. This is a different word, different pronunciation, you know? So when it comes to the God side. It's not the it's word. Like, no, I get that. Yeah, yeah. Because I already believe in God. So I'm that's why we that. say Allah, because what God named, God has a name. So, my, so that's the way of salvation from hellfire, yes? Yes, that's so, the, the key. So my question is, yeah. when you die, yeah. are you going to paradise? If I die upon that, yes, I go to paradise. So right now, if you die, you're going to paradise? Yes, if I die upon it, say, I should do it, because why? I don't know how I'm going to die. For example, this Christian man here, who became Muslim, mm. okay? If you ask him two days ago, he said he will go to paradise, mm. according to Christian belief. Mm. But he became Muslim. Mm. Now, according to him, two days ago, he will not go to paradise as a Muslim. Mm. You understand? Yes. That's why we say the knowledge of the, the future, we don't know what will happen to us. But we say, Allah sent the Quran, the Muslims, they will be in paradise. So right now, yeah. if you die, are you going to paradise? If I die with La ilaha illa, saying it, because Prophet Muhammad said, whoever dies with saying La ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah, will go to paradise. So if I die and I don't say that, what happens then? If uh, you're, this is the, it's not a joke, it's a serious matter. No, yeah. I agree. Yeah, I it's agree. a serious matter, except if you didn't know. Mm. Because Allah mentioned the Quran, Allah will never punish people until the proof has been established upon them. Mm. For example, someone, I mean, even if he's, he's a Muslim, even because sometimes Satan can prevent you from saying this statement mm. in your deathbed, okay? But a Muslim who believes in it, but he fell into sins, that will, Allah is the most merciful, you know? So Allah, probably Allah will punish him. What does that mean, merciful? What do you mean by that? Mean Allah's, uh, merciful mean, I don't have to, 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 to punish you to forgive you. Because merciful now, if I forgive, as I said, you know what? I forgive you, don't worry. Mm. You call me merciful person. But if I punish you, mm. I'm, I'm still, I can be merciful, mm. but merciful means he's a person that shows mercy, forgives, mm. you know, forgives sins and everything, you know? But also Allah is just. Mm. That's why when Islam will believe Allah, like if you did something go against Allah, Allah can forgive you. Mm. But if against another human beings, Allah is just. For example, debt, debt in Islam is very important, so yes. you have to give it back. No, of course, yeah. of course. Oh, you took someone's money. You see? Even worse. Yes, okay. you know what I'm saying? So, so my worry is then, if we think about humanity, if we think about us as humans and justice and things like that and right yeah. and wrong, ultimately God decides what's right and wrong. No he doubt. try, and that's why yes. the world is in a mess. We say this is right, this is wrong, we call wrong, right, right, wrong. We agree, 100%. If someone breaks the law, yeah. let's say someone kills or someone rapes, Yeah. If the judge looks at that person and says, I can see you're sorry, yeah. I'm going to let you go. Yeah. Is that judge just? No, because the judge is oppressing the, 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 the victim's rights. Okay. But if the man took the judge's money mm -hmm. and just said, you know what, I forgive you, you can go, mm -hmm. that's his rights. So he forgave. Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay. But now, if a judge said to him, you know, for, for, uh, because now, let us give another example. Mm -hmm. If the judge said to him, you know, I'm going to forgive you on the condition I have to kill someone who's innocent. Mm. Is it just? No. Okay, I'd see. Agree. So that's why Islam clearly, that's why I, I, I specified it. God forgive you the right against him, that you're oppressed, you know? 
But when it comes to, for example, I took your money, mm. okay? Now, the condition of repentance, I have to give it back to of you. Course, I, I can that. make tell, I said, that was wrong, because mm. God said it's wrong, mm. you know? I repent, but that's not enough, mm. give it back to you. Mm. If I cannot find you, the scholar said, you give it as a donation on his behalf. Mm. You see? I get it. Yeah. I get it. So it'll be I, like it's a good deed for him. And I, and I like that. Yeah. For me, I think where Christians and Muslims will differ is what we think sin is and how serious sin is. And there's one thing that I saw on YouTube which is about how big the universe is. And it talks about if the world or if the sun was a golf ball, yeah. there are stars in the universe that are Mount Everest in okay. comparison to the to, sun. To the sun. Okay. So if you look at the sun as a golf ball, yeah. Mount Everest. And God is bigger than that. Without any doubt. And so even that I can't understand. We cannot we cannot comprehend God. Oh, so so my of thing is when so when But just to correct you, so to cut you, a we differ not just because not define his sins. Mm. We define bigger than this. We define we differ in the foundation which mm. is the first commandment. Mm. We say there's only one God. So, yes. And that is which you refer to the Father. Mm. But you I don't know what Christian you follow, Christianity, but I know born again Christian, a Catholic they say the Trinity. Yes. And I say well, this is the problem here because mm. you believe Trinity is paganism. Mm -hmm. You know, just I was saying to the guy, if you look to the history of the Christians, from the Christians' historians, that Trinity came to be known openly mm. in the year 381. That's not true. Okay, that is true. Council, are you talking about Council of Nicaea? No, Council of Nicaea 325. Cool. We are Council talking. of Nicaea, it was not about Trinity, it was about the nature of Jesus. Mm. You know, but the Council of 381, which is in Constantine, mm. when some bishops came together and they came to speak about the Holy Spirit to be part of Trinity. So this is And you know who is one of them is Athanas. This is where the conversation Saint Athanas. Interested. So um in terms of because what we do, we I know Muslims acknowledge the Torah. <laughs> they acknowledge the Torah, they acknowledge um the Injil. What do you mean we acknowledge the Torah? We in terms them? of they acknowledge that these are words of God. No, we acknowledge the true Torah was given to Jesus, mm -hmm. not the current one. Mm -hmm. The true energy that was given to Jesus and the Torah was given to Moses mm -hmm. is the word of Allah, but not the current one. How do you know? Uh, that's a beautiful. How do you know? Allah sent the Quran, I will say in Arabic, translated in English. Allah sent Surah Al Ma'idah, chapter of the table. Allah said, وَقَفَّيْنَا عَلَىٰ آثَارِهِمْ بِعِيسَ بْنِ مَرْيَمْ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ وَآتَيْنَاهُ الْإِنْجِيلِ Please translate. Yes, Please okay. translate. <laughs> I'm speaking the language of I Jesus. I love it. I love it. Because, yeah, okay. Allah said, and we sent down, uh, we sent after them, after the prophets before, after them, Jesus, the son of Mary, okay, believing in the Torah, and we gave him the gospel. So clearly the gospel was given to Jesus. But the, 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 the New Testament that we have, Jesus never knew about it. It was written by Pork, uh, by Pork. <laughs> but all um, uh, the letters Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Yes. You know? So clearly that is not the Injil that Allah spoke about. Maybe it contains some words of the Injil. You still haven't proved how you know it's changed. No, I'm not talking about change first. Oh, it's not the real thing. No, 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 I'm not saying I'm saying exactly imagine I said the book that I believe that Shamsi my name Shamsi, yeah? This is Baba Hudayfa. Mm. I'm gonna say the book that I believe Shamsi gave to Hudayfa mm. called A B. Mm. Then he bring a book called a, B, but it was not given to Hudayfa, it was given to someone else. Mm. You're going to say, no, that's not the book Shamsi gave to Hudayfa. Mm. You know? Mm. So my point here, Allah gave the angel to Jesus. Mm. But the New Testament was not given to Jesus. Mm. It was written by people after Jesus. Mm. Like you have to agree that Jesus, may Allah, alayhi salam, peace be upon him, he never carried the, yeah, he never wrote, yeah. he never carried the he New wrote, Testament. Yes, I agree. He never, he never taught from the New Testament. Mm. The New Testament came after, mm. okay? So clearly, that is not the engine. So what? You Maybe it contains some okay. of the. Yeah. So what? So my response to you would be yeah. essentially you're saying that the Bible as or the New Testament as we know it is made up, or yeah. it's a distortion of the truth. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. You, the people who wrote it, were killed for saying this is the truth. They were I mean, all killed. All of them were killed. No, 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 no. That's not a point because there's people, there's Hindus who killed for their beliefs. No, but they doesn't make it no, true. That's different. They. There's a difference between believing something and being killed for it yeah. and being killed for something that you know you made up. It's not no, the no, thing. no, no. The people that, look, look. F firstly, uh, people that they made it up. I didn't say they made, made it up, meaning. Or distorted it. Distorted, or, oh, yeah, distorted. They were killed. Uh, yeah, they were, uh, Paul, one of them. Yes. Yeah, Paul, Paul yeah. Paul, one of them. 
yeah. all the disciples I believe were one were all killed in some way shape no no Ma Matthew and Luke and Mark and John they're not disciples of Jesus by the way okay yeah they're not because I proved to you Luke one of them clearly okay Luke yeah Luke is a doctor yes yeah he came yes. after I agree. he yes. said yeah even if you study the the the, the manuscripts mm. for example if you go back to um uh, what's his name the is a Christian by the way he's a scholar of manus uh, uh, one of them he, he left Christianity called uh, what's his name but Ehrman mm. but Ehrman he was a Christian scholar that he left Christianity mm -hmm. because he was a uh, he was a, an expert in manuscripts yes uh, he left Christianity by his scholar in Christianity in North Carolina University there's another one called um, Allah al Musta'an man he's a Christian scholar but he was one of the heads you need to check it about the manuscripts he mentioned that those who are the New Testament I'm loving this conversation so far I wish everyone would be this calm when trying to explain to another person with a different religion so that they get to understand each other and just have a conversation back and forth and just really trying to understand each other otherwise this is amazing my question to this I only have one question for this one commentary is um so if you don't say those words even if you're Muslim you've been following this religion and you don't say those last words when you're about to die or you're dying you're in the process of dying does it mean you won't go to heaven and does it oh so i have two questions and the second one is if i'm not muslim but then i say those words as i'm dying because we always borrow things from other languages you find yourself saying messi because you want to say thank you to someone but you don't speak that language so if that person is not muslim but then they say those words while they're dying or in the process of dying does it mean that they'll go to heaven i just want someone to clear that up for me otherwise i'm loving this